splunknology and shot part of the digestive system. First of all, very good if you will be remember you are what you eat. Yeah, it's very important moment, especially for student too, and for all person in this world, because uh, full same uh, good immunity and good homeostasis in the organism. It's a uh, full same with uh, food uh, for organism for some person. You remember organizations levels of the human body. Uh, today we talked about some moment about tissue, organs, and uh, organ system. For example, it's a digestive tract. Yes, but um, in this picture, for example, internal organs uh, in splunknology. It's digestive tract in this is picture and respiratory system, but it's a not all internal uh, organs or splachnology. What does it mean splachnology? It's a, in a classification in anatomical terminology. And you remember uh, without knowledge of the terms of the uh, correct terms uh, of uh, anatomical uh, terminology science itself is unknown and um, splunknology starts with digestive system uh, or as a name this system it's an alimentary system uh, alimentary way uh, moving of the uh, drugs for example alimentary tract it's a full same with digestive system Next, uh, it will be respiratory, urinary, genital systems, and a long time in splunknology uh, was present endocrine glands. But uh, in a modern terminology, uh, present uh, different differences, yeah? And uh, endocrine glands, it's an integra integrating uh, systems uh, first where present endocrine gland, uh, cardiovascular system, and lymph organs. And now, really, uh, this systemata viscerada, it does it mean splunknology uh, or splunknologia in Latin language, and uh, it's only four systems digestive, respiratory, urinary, and genital systems. A uh, very interesting moment in understanding uh, what is tract in the internal after skin uh, present in a, a human body. And uh, I replay uh, now internal organs of splachnology in the digestive system or alimentary system, respiratory system, genital systems. Here my, must be present systemata, yes, and urinary system. Um, in the splunknology, for example, present uh, apparatus, urogenital apparatus, it's a total uh, together urinary system and genital system, male and female. Some organs present uh, same for these uh, systems, uh, but present in a uh, urogenital apparatus. Next one, it's uh, uh, organs. Organs uh, in the digestive system, for example, it's very simple. It's eight, but uh, more correct if you find in the practice lesson and classification, uh, first of all, digestive system, it's a uh, 16 organs in the digestive tract. Uh, plus a uh, glance uh, near digestive tract. Next, uh, respiratory system, uh, genital system with internal and external organs and urinary system. Urinary system, it's a number six. It's a, a six organs with a especially function. So really, if very simple uh, organization of the splunknology, uh, it will be all structure after skin. 
it's an internal organs, uh, all structure of the skin in the human body. It's a muscles, bones, joints, uh, all systems, uh, our organism without integument commune or uh, skin and breast. Yes, in the Finnish, uh, it will be after skin, uh, without skin, uh, internal organs. But splanchnology, splanchnology uh, consists of with uh, four parts. I play digestive system, respiratory system, genital systems, because male and female, and urinary system. Uh, it's different organs. It's a different organs in this technology really present uh, big version organs with some uh, structure and function. So, uh, and uh, for example, in a digestive tract, it's a long way, uh, um, more than seven meters, uh, where moving food in the first time, next one it's hemus, and in the uh, finish it's a physis, uh, moving to the external. It's a uh, many different uh, pr processes uh, in a digestive system uh, for uh, our uh, uh, vegetative function. Respiratory system, it's the second part of this plantology in the respiratory system, main organs are located in the uh, head, neck and uh, thorax or uh, chest. In the digestive tract, uh, digestive tract moving uh, after diaphragm in the abdominal cavity, and big portion uh, organs uh, located in the abdominal cavity and connecting with uh, a special serous membrane, it's a peritoneum. After respiratory system, it's a urogenital apparatus or uh, genital systems and urinary system. Uh, it's very important. Um, uh, systems and apparatus for uh, with many functions. For example, genital apparatus, uh, genital systems for continue our life in this world. And uh, male and female organs, it's uh, uh, some differences, but some um, uh, same function uh, and structure with uh, same uh, forms present in the genital uh, systems. For example, male uh, with external structure, it's uh, especially glands uh, with mixed uh, function. It's a testis or orchis or didymis. Uh, it's a three names, one organs. Uh, you know, in a um, female, it's ovary, but ovary located really in a uh, abdominal pelvic cavity. Uh, and uh, some organs in a in, uh, internal, um, in a splanchnology have different forms. For example, uh, if you know, it's a, a duodenum, with four parts, superior descending horizontal and ascending. And uh, it's the denim uh, tubal form organ, but present in a splant technology in a different internal organs, uh, uh, especially organs with parenchyme uh, structure, for example, kidney, uh, for example, liver or uh, hepar in the Latin language uh, and tubal form organ have different uh, yeah. structure in the external and in the internal too. Uh, for example, uh, large intestine and uh, small intestine with different forms of the mucous membrane present uh, in the internal uh, structure and uh, different uh, 
layers of the uh, wool, uh, these organs, but not only uh, parenchymatous organ and tubular form or uh, organs with cavity, for example, stomach, present mix organ. For example, uh, tongue, tongue uh, or a lingua in Latin language consists of not only with muscles and uh, uh, it's big portion, uh, a special structure for taste uh, in a mucose membrane. Mixed uh, structure, it's a, for example, teeth uh, in a connecting with a mandible and maxill. And uh, uh, as a moment, very important, it's a structure of the wall in internal organs. All or organs uh, with um, cavity, for example, tubular organ or sac, especially for food, it's a stomach, for example, have uh, in a standard minimum three layers, mucose membrane, submucose, muscular and serous. Uh, submucosa, it's a, uh, a special space where present big portion of the vessels and nerves and uh, different structure, tunica muscularis, muscle layers in a different organs uh, connecting with functions, these organs. Um, serous uh, membrane, if absent serous membrane, for example, in esophagus, present uh, tunica adventitia. Uh, three serous uh, layer, uh, especially structures with serous membrane with uh, two layer with and parietal, uh, for example, present in a uh, thoracic cavity or thorax, it's a uh, structure with uh, visceral and parietal pleura. Pleura, it's a special uh, sac with this is two layers and in the internal between visceral and parietal present uh, pleural cavity. Uh, full same uh, serous membrane will be present in a abdominal uh, cavity, uh, it's a peritoneum and between two lungs uh, present heart in a pericardium. Uh, pericardium, pleura, and uh, uh, peritoneum have two layers, visceral and parietal. Uh, but uh, it's uh, in the external, yes, connected. At the moment, it's uh, in the lungs, in the uh, liver, present a special structure in uh, internal organs. It's, um, for example, uh, segments of the liver. Uh, lobes in a uh, uh, lungs in a, uh, in the uh, liver too, and uh, this is lobes delayed to the segments, eight segment in a, a liver. Uh, it's very important in the clinic, really, and not only for uh, treatment diseases in a transplantation and for understanding some disorders uh, with localization in a different region, for example, in the lungs, in the uh, liver and other organs too. I replay a uh, long time endocrine uh, organs. It was part of the splatnology, but now in a modern terminology, it uh, will be in a integrating systems uh, first. We are present three parts. It's an endocrine glands and cardiovascular system and uh, lymph uh, uh, lymphoid organs. For this structure, uh, must be present some liquid, for example, hormone, blood, or lymph uh, for uh, function functions of these organs. As a uh, important moment for all internal organs, it's uh, topography. Topography consists of these uh, three parts. First of all, it's a skeletotopy, next syntopy and holotopy. Holotopy, uh, it's a projection, projection to the skin, to the some regions in the human body. 
and uh, uh, one variant it's a well located our stomach yeah our stomach uh, skeletotopy it will be uh, starting um, mm, cardiac sphincternia uh, project projection of the body tense vertebras but if we uh, looked in this is picture uh, fundus have location near nine uh, vertebra, uh, thoracic vertebra and in a finish uh, pyloric sphincter located near uh, body of the first uh, lumbal uh, body of the uh, lumbal first uh, vertebras and we uh, were a simple uh, working second lumbal it's a uh, down part uh, where well, the projection these organs. Next of all, it's a projection duodenum. Yes, it's a skeletotopy, for example, duodenum, first part of the uh, small intestine. Skeletotopy projection to the skeleton. Syntopy, it's a which organ uh, touch to, for example, stomach. It's a, a, a liver, diaphragm, uh, uh, par, par, paris of abdomen, uh, lien, uh, kidneys, supraadrenal glands, and uh, pancreas and colon. Um, and after this moment, we can uh, look in a picture where well located some region in the external structure. And in a finish, it's uh, syntopy. All syntopy, different organs uh, in the abdominal cavity, uh, very important nine region uh, in the anterior wall of uh, abdomen. Abdomen or stomach, yes, it's a projection of uh, uh, these organs to the skin in the external. Um, two lines in a horizontal position, uh, starting with uh, ending point of uh, st uh, ribs uh, line, where I finish. Uh, this is ribs in the down, and uh, this variant uh, line delayed. Epigastrum, epigastrum, including one, two, three regions uh, in uh, uh, this picture, uh, and four, five, and six, it will be mesogastrum. And uh, second horizontal line, uh, it's starting in a special structure of the skin. Uh, in this is point, it's a spina iliaca anterior superior um, in a horizontal delayed uh, mesogastrium and gypogastrium. Seven, eight, and nine, it's a gypogastrium. Four, five, six, it's a mesogastrium. And one, two, three, it's an epigastrium. But uh, not only horizontal uh, section and three floors uh, present in the abdominal uh, cavity uh, in uh, this uh, structure of the abdominal wall, two uh, vertical line uh, near uh, musculus rectus abdominis uh, in a lateral region delayed. This is three floors for to the nine region. First of all, it's a number two. It's a region where projection, big portion of the stomach, and uh, it's an epigastrial region. Next one, one and three. One and three, it's a, a region where located uh, liver and uh, uh, Spleen or uh, liver and lien. Liver and lien located in a regio hypochondrium. What, what does it mean, chondros? It's a, a special structure of the ribs. In the ribs, you remember present uh, cartilage part and uh, costal part. 
this is region where located big portion of the cartilage uh, have name regio hypochondriac uh, right and left next time it's a mesogastrium mesogastrium delayed to three region um, first of all it's a lateral region right lateral region left and uh, number five it's umbilic region because here present umbilicus uh, and uh, some organs projection in this is region two uh, next uh, seven eight and nine it's a hypogastrium and uh, near pubic bone here it's a pubic region seven and nine it's a uh, especially region with name inguinal region inguinal because here present inguinal ligament right and left and in this is a nine region in the abdominal wall anterior abdominal wall projection uh, different organs and first of all it's a uh, you uh, study in region in a uh, human body in the skin uh, for example where uh, will be present duodenum or uh, pancreas it's a big parts uh, location between epigastrium uh, and mesogastrium but in a clinic may present irradiation of the pain radiation of the pain it's uh, when, uh, uh, for example, pancreas located in the epigastrium, but pain uh, with this is um, glands will located in the skin in the umbilic region, and other uh, organs, for example, kidney for lateral re region it's a lateral not a lumbal uh, some uh, books and atlas have information it's a other name but correct name it's a lateral region where located ascending part and descending part of the colon it's a part of the large intestine and uh, kidney right and left and other in the inguinal region uh, present for example, second with appendix, uh, it's a in the right uh, inguinal region. It's a uh, symptoms in this region when uh, present inflammation of the uh, pancreas. Uh, sorry, a, uh, appendix. Yeah, appendices epiploids. So. Very important moment really in the uh, structure in the internal organs, it's at different ages. Uh, it's, uh, for example, liver, liver uh, in the adult, liver in adult, uh, but liver in the uh, newborn abdominal cavity, the half of abdominal cavity, very big size of the uh, liver uh, uh, in abdominal cavity and in a different uh, ages uh, change form and structure internal organs uh, in a different uh, cavity and in a different system so first of all it's a uh, uh, about structure internal organs it's uh, information of the digestive system as a uh, uh, name it's an alimentary system and uh, gastrointestinal tract gastro stomach intestinal is intestinal yes but uh, different organs uh, in this system digestive system after studying this chapter you will be able to name all parts of the digestive system and to discuss the function of each part uh, define com uh, combining forms used in uh, building words uh, that uh, relate to the digestive system identify the meaning of relating uh, abbreviation and 
means uh, the common uh, uh, diagnosis, clinical procedures, and laboratory tests using the uh, uh, treating of the digestive system. Uh, not only um, English version important, Latin name all organs in the elementary canal or digestive system and Greek name. For example, mouse. Mouse, it's a uh, oral cavity in a Latin language, but uh, in the Greek language, it's a stoma. Stomatologist, some uh, doctor uh, who treat um, all structure in the oral cavity. It's a not only mucous membrane, it's a not only uh, teeth uh, and other structure treatment too. After oral cavity, it's a pharynx, pharyngitis, inflammation of mucous membrane of the pharynx. Esophagus, uh, three parts. Stomach, it's a, a special sac. It's a ventriculus or gaster in the Latin and, uh, and the Greek language, as this name, this is organ. Small intestine and large intestine, uh, large intestine in the Finnish. It's a part of the alimentary canal, very simple. And um, in the Latin language, systema digestorium or digestive system or systema alimentarium. Oral cavity, cavitus oris, pharynx with three parts, esophagus with three parts, gaster or stomach with three parts, intestinum tenue, uh, intestinum, it does it mean uh, intestine uh, small, crassum, it's a uh, large intestine. But not only digestive tract, uh, it's uh, all organs in the digestive system. Present biggest uh, glands in uh, our organism, it's a liver, but it's a not only gland, uh, it's a, uh, organs with different other function too. Uh, I think maybe in the liver or hepar in Latin language, present as the biggest uh, number of the function in the uh, whole organism. Uh, vesicophilia or bile uh, cyst uh, or vesica biliaris, it's a special sac for uh, bile. Pancreas, uh, two second uh, biggest uh, glands in the organism. And peritoneum, I replay, it's a serous membrane uh, present in the uh, abdominal cavity and connect with internal organs in abdominal cavity with two layers, uh, visceral and parietal. Next, uh, it's a uh, may present some schematic here. Yeah? Uh, in a digestive system, present some regions and glands. Uh, regions, it's oral cavity, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. But small intestine, it's a three parts, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Uh, small in uh, large intestine with three parts too, cecum, colon, and rectum. If you looked, colon, for example, have four parts. And for remembering this structure, some methods we will talk um, next time. Glands. Glands in a digestive tract uh, present a big portion um, vestibular glands and uh, biggest salivary gland in the human body. It's a, in the um, oral uh, cavity, submandibular, sublingual, and parotid uh, uh, glands. It's especially for uh, producing of the saliva. Uh, and uh, it's a major or big salivary glands. Big portion, small uh, or minorous uh, salivary glands present too in the oral cavity. And I replace the biggest uh, glands in the human body. It's a liver or hepar in Latin language and uh, near liver, near stomach present uh, important glands. It's a pancreas. Uh, 